Hi, I'm Doug Boyd, director of the Louis B. Nunn Center for Oral History at the University of Kentucky Libraries. One of the challenges you face when indexing oral histories is knowing how much information to include in an index. The Nunn Center has created a system of levels to establish a frame of reference for measuring the breadth and depth of indexing an oral history interview in Ohms so we can plan and budget for large indexing projects. Currently we have three levels of Ohms indexing, beginning at level 1 and increasing in content and detail to level 3. When you watch this video, you will learn what the Nunn Center considers to be a level 2 index when using Ohms, how it compares to a level 1 or 3 index, what the components of a level 2 index are, and why you might choose to index an interview at level 2. A level 2 index provides a good balance between the sparse information of a level 1 index and the detailed longer process of creating a level 3 index. A typical level 2 interview will contain approximately 10 to 15 segments per hour of interview time. Each segment must have a title. Level 2 indexes also contain keywords and or subjects, as well as partial transcripts and a brief synopsis. Here's an example of a level 2 index featuring an interview with Wild Turkey's master distiller Jimmy Russell from the Kentucky Bourbon Tales Oral History Project. This segment begins at 41 minutes and 55 seconds when the interviewer asks Russell about how the Wild Turkey distillery makes its bourbon. This is a brief clip of a segment from the interview. If you would like to watch the segment in its entirety, please visit the OMS webpage at oralhistoryonline.org. What's your take on the process? Well, you know, say we haven't changed a thing here. We're buying premium grains. We don't use any GMO grains. If you know John Jerry Modified, we're not using any of them. And uh, we're more uh, lighter on the corn and heavier on rye and barley and malt, where a lot of them's a lot heavier on corn and lighter on. We're looking for that big, bold flavor taste that's one-on-one -on -one proof, and that's what we're looking for. And distilling at low proof, is we're still putting it in the barrel at low proof. Uh, the higher you distill it, things, you know, the less flavor you have it. And I always use simple terms when I'm explaining to people. You know, you and I can sit here and technically could talk about everything. People understand. We understand it. But out in, the, out in the public, they don't understand when you start talking about all the highs and esters and fused oils and all this. But... I use a simple example. I'll ask people how they like their steak. Well done? Nobody. Oh, I know. I'm, well, how do you want to cook it well done? No flavor. I said, you answered my question. That's the reason we still distill it low proof. The higher you distill anything, the less flavor you have in it. And say our warehouses are seven stories tall. Uh, you know, the bottom floors, it stays cooler all the time. The middle floors is ideal. The humidity and temperature is not that. It's real hot up. You don't need a sun in the summertime here. Just start up old steps. The further you go up with the metal pad bill and the metal roof, the hotter it's going to be. And uh, we're, we're looking at ours. We're sampling every year knowing how it's age. We have a lot of windows in our warehouse. We open the windows in the summertime to get that good air circulation through the building. We close. Somebody asked if we're climate controlled. I said, yes, we're climate controlled. We open the windows in the summertime. We close them in the winter. That's climate control, isn't it? But we're always looking for that. And uh, we, don't, we try to put our barrels in at different levels every day's production. Because the segment is about the steps involved in making bourbon, we will call it Wild Turkey Distillery's Bourbon Making Process. This title is not only succinct, but it also communicates to users the essence of the segment. The title of a level 2 index provides the user with basic information about the content of the segment, just as in a level 1 index. Although a level 2 index contains more information than a level 1 index, the title must still be as informative as possible. A level 2 index also contains a partial transcript for each segment. Although some repositories may choose to transcribe full interviews within this field, the Nunn Center chooses to use this section to create a short transcription to create an orientation point for the user of an oral history index. The Nunn Center transcribes only the first 140 or so characters of the segment and follows the Nunn Center's transcription standards. In this segment, the partial transcript would read, Could we ask a couple more questions? 
Keywords in a Level 2 index generally should not contain the same information as the chosen title. If a word is already located in the title of a segment, the user will already be aware that the topic is part of the content of that segment. Use keywords to enhance and complement segment titles and provide a greater number of access points within the interview. Use detailed and specific keywords whenever possible. In addition to the keywords chosen for a Level 1 interview, a Level 2 interview will have a greater number of keywords and also contain more specific keywords than a Level 1 interview. The Level 1 keywords for this segment include distillation, quality, distilling, warehouses, barrels, aging, consistency, and ingredients. For the Level 2 index, we will add the keywords water, grains, yeast, rye, corn, taste, flavors, and barley malt. Although Wild Turkey Distillery is an important topic within this segment, it's unnecessary to include it as a keyword since it's already used in the title. Subjects can also be used for a Level 2 index. Subjects are generally more broad than keywords, but also have the advantage of using a controlled vocabulary to standardize topics across interviews. For this interview with Jimmy Russell, the Nunn Center has chosen Distillation, Distilleries, Kentucky, Quality of Products, and Whiskey Industry, Kentucky, as its subjects. These are all Library of Congress subject headings relating to bourbon and alcohol production. A Level 2 index should also include a brief synopsis of the contents of the segment so that users get a general idea of how the keywords and subjects may be used within the segment. For this segment, the synopsis is, Russell talks about the process of making bourbon and where wild turkey gets its ingredients. He talks about variations in aging, types of barrels, and proportions of ingredients and how each distillery creates its own unique flavor of bourbon. We have chosen to end the segment here in order to begin a new segment about new trends within the bourbon industry. The Nunn Center often indexes at Level 2, since it provides greater information and more access points for users than a Level 1 index, but it's not as detailed as a Level 3 index, and therefore takes less time to create. A Level 2 index strikes a nice balance between the efficiency of a Level 1 index and the higher level of searchability of Level 3. Now remember, the Nunn Center has found this system of measuring indexing levels to work best for our needs. Other repositories or institutions may wish to create their own system of levels and content based on their own resources and goals. Enjoy using OMS, and good luck on your project.